Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Blue Lotus Gardens. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Blue Phoenix. My pronouns are they, them. I make fun, plenty videos and then share with you a fun plan blog on Wednesdays. Links are all in the description down below if you're all interested. In today's video, I'm going to share with you something fun to do. So stay tuned and join me in the video. So every morning, I just like to set all the plants out like this. It's pretty shady around here, so I get, um, try to make them, put them in like nice little sunny areas. Here's my Hoya Pee Calyx. Give this one a nice good leaf shine too. Uh, here's the big old cold, uh, which one is some Colocasia? Colocasia, no. Big old alocasia. Some cacti over here. Some my uh, my fiddle leaf fig, the bambino. Coffee plant. This one that is just growing, growing and growing. little seeds they're growing too this one was from the take a plant leave a plant but i really like it and i'm gonna just like let it grow so i can propagate it a customer brought me these little cacti so i planted them and this one's never gonna die <laughs> so i just repotted it and it's just re-sprouting as you see so i'll just have to cut all these like dead branches off and that it'll be fine here's my plumeria that i've been learning about so love it basil the these little flowers just passed on they were petunias and this is my um eucalyptus lemon tree it's coming back and then my sage. Here is my olive trees. And then also um, I'm growing, as you see, I'm growing some dragon fruit. And they're popping up. I think it's exciting. Hi everyone. All right, so I have to start off the day with packing a plant, which is so exciting because that's always just something that I kind of like look forward to. I just always want to share with y'all how I pack my plants. So for my local pickup, and I'm going to show y'all right now. So I usually water them before the night before. I have this Hoya um, Compacta variegated that I'm packing up right now. So y'all see that. I use a lot of my recycled uh, materials, which is like this plant bags and then um, plant seeds as, and then my plant seeds as well so I place that in there and then I will use a either a box or a a bag and voila you get a little sticker and also the plant that you've chosen in my bags and everything I think this looks so cool <laughs> and then that's how it goes thanks for supporting my small business Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am cleaning my plant stand so that way um, I can show y'all how <laughs> I can show y'all how I clean my plant stand. So this is the stand right now. Um, I just basically what I do is get some soap and water, spray it all down, and then get the hose. Where'd it go? I get the hose and then I spray it down. And then inside I spray it down also, and then all the and then I spray spray my diy pesticide inside there with everything so that way it's like a little bit like cleaner inside also with um no pests uh there's sometimes it's like, like spiders or something like that that are in there but it's fine spiders are good they'll kill off all of the little pests that are in there so that's something not to worry really about but yeah if you're in my area you're welcome to come by and take a plant enjoy 
also plant supplies or you know all that good stuff so my take a plant leave a plant stand is a way for me to like actually reduce my carbon footprint and keep myself on more of a, a sustainable path um, reducing plastic and purchasing plastic is really something that i want to minimize or eventually eliminate so we're going there slowly but surely so thank y'all so much for helping out hi everyone all right welcome today we are going to Lowe's going to I'm gonna start painting some pots so I'm buying some like um, the weatherproof the weatherproofing stuff um, and then I'm gonna go pick up a plant um, I believe it's a Hoya Obovara I didn't really ask her some uh, I just kind of like want to have like my collection of Hoyas in there um, they're all like really they're all doing really well so I think it's really exciting just to kind of have like a standard little collection that way I could really grow grow them and just keep on propagating them for next year and maybe we'll find some other little plants for the plant stand and just kind of uh, rescue them and bring them over. Miley, Miley. Hi everyone, welcome. So I have some plant mail that I received. Thank you so much for trading with me. Um, I hope you enjoy your, your plants just as much as I do. Also, um, sorry about the lighting, we're my bedroom and I'm still kind of like working the lights in here. We're going to open this box up. So look at this amazing packaging. Like, thank you so much for really like taking care of the packaging and writing like the names on there. I'm trying to expand on the Shidias. Uh, I really like the Shidias and Hoyas. I think they're just so fun. Um, and so I just want to start adding them to my store. And it has also, there's also a nice little thank you card. It's a cute little thank you card. Thank you so much. It's, that's really adorable. Such a sweet little card. I'm going to keep it right here by my desk. So this one is a Dishidia Ovada, Hoya Ibricata, and Hoya Croniana. I love, I love it. Look at this. So I know this one is the Hoya Embr Embriata. I've, I've been wanting one of these for the longest. Uh, so that's, that's awesome. Look at the roots. Oh my God. I know this one is a Dishidia ovata and it has like this nice little splashing to it oh no this one lost the leaf but it's okay it still has nice little roots we'll work on that this one must be the Hoya Croniana oh my I did not expect this many plants thank you wow this one is a dashidia board and methyl cutting oh my god y'all are spoiling me what 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 y'all you y'all can't be doing this to me oh my god i'm gonna be cheesing i'm like i don't want to rip it This, is this a, the, this was not added on here. This is, thank you. Oh my God, thank you. Wow. Cute little cutting there, but look at this board. So this is the Dishidia right here. And then this is the Mathilde cutting. And then I'm even like, there's this little like 
little fella right here. Thank you. Wow. This is so cool. And then this is a Hoya and Croissant Moon Shadow. Possibly reviving. Good luck. I love a good challenge, you know. So I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it. Oh. Okay, I'll try it. What? What? That is so cool. I want to say thank you so much for all the the plants that you've uh, sent me. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, you all can trade with me in my Discord group. I've also opened up a section on our plant blog in which you can check out on the links down below um, where members can now trade with one another. There is a group specific for only members. So um, just you could post on there and put your ISOs and you know, um, as the list grows and people go, can Trade plants from wherever they are um, and if you need help with shipping contact us we're all you're there's a little chat chat button on there where you can always chat with us and um, ask us any questions you have whether it's the blog or anything else um, and we'll always happy to help you out but I just want to say that and then also thank you so much for trading with me like all these are so beautiful just Thank you, um, and I really, really, really appreciate all the extra little plants. I just, this is amazing. I love Hoyas and Deshidias, and so this is just, um, has been a wonderful experience. Now on my blog, I'm featuring uh, monthly subscriptions that you can subscribe to. Um, there is a monthly cutting box that you can receive, and then there's also a monthly mystery plant. That mystery plant is Grower's Choice, so you're in for a treat when you um, purchase. I will grow a specific one for that. All, and then also, um, sometimes it could be featured from one of our catalogs, so you just never know. It's a great mystery plant to choose from, and it's pest-free, super healthy, and always just, we're always just hoping to make your experience with us. All the support goes to our blog, um, and all the functions that it supports and everything else. So thank you so much for all the people that have supported us. There's digital downloads that you can also for very low cost for like wallpapers if you like if from us that we've designed and we hope that you enjoy just as much as we are enjoying. Now I have a self-care, self-love wallpaper that I uh, designed and I thought I would really I really appreciate it. It's a nice little self reminder. It has our little logo. Um, it's very, I think it's really cute. I have it as like a green, green and purple with like fun fonts and a, bl a planty little uh, design to it. So I hope y'all enjoy it just as much as I have. There's more to come. You all are so wonderful and amazing. Thank you very much um, for trading with me and I'll see y'all later. Hi everyone. Okay, so um, I was going through my growth, growth tent edit and I was like wondering how am I going to um, pot this up, right? Because it's just a cutting and so I was looking at it and the way it's shaped and cupped, um, it needs sphagnum moss or something to adhere itself because if you, I think my theory, my theory, um, I think if you don't give it something to support itself while it's growing, it's going to lose like leaves or like it's going to be harder for it to grow. Noticing a loss in color, that was like my sign of like what I should do differently. By the way, do y'all like the new leaves? Like I just, I just cleaned them all and um, I showed it on my blog how to do that and so I'm going to be more um, active on my blog and post more, pic more pictures and 
and be on like the groups and blogs and post videos on there so join me on the blog and there's also a trading section there so you can all join there that's exclusive for members um and then i do polls there for members um also and that's like an all free uh thing for you all hope y'all like it before i forget let me show y'all what i'm talking about this is the imbricata it is a cupped shaped hoya it is also a shingling type hoya so it needs to be attached onto something and currently i don't have any like cedar wood for it to attach itself to it um so i'm just going to i had it came with like some of some of the sphagnum moss stuffed inside of it i had removed some of it i recommend not removing it <laughs> um curiosity right and so i've noticed little signs and stuff but it has new growth in there as you can see that little green spot um i might show you all a close up a little bit but that's what it is this is like one of my favorite Hoyas. It's very distinguished. Uh, it's a distinguished gentleman. Um, it is just very, very beautiful. I love the f foliage. I love the way the coloring on it. I love the s s s little spotting on it. It's super cute. It's very adorable. It's, it's one of those Hoyas that you just really don't find anywhere. Um, and it's it really is a good learning curved Hoya. So like we're all used to like Hoya Vergata with the compacta being and how to care for it with its little extra requirement. This one now is something like that, but a little bit different. So if you like the Hoya compacta, I say look into the Hoya Ambricata. It's something that um, has somewhat of a similar care to it it is a little bit more needy and caring for it but it's worth it you'll get a rhythm to it and um yeah just don't take it easy you know that's what i start with little hoya cutting and, and go from there i also want to thank you all so much for the advice on this uh bro marks and um, doing some air layering to it. I've noticed more growth to it. I was going to chop it down, but um, I was told if you air layer it like this, it might be a little bit easier to um, propagate it because you'll see more growth points and then you'll actually see like where to cut a little bit easier. So, oops, sorry. So I'm trying that out. As you can see, all those little new growth points. So We'll have a lot of like new variegated plants in there and we'll have some fun with that. So I also did it for my Adapointsa, but I didn't want to put saran wrap around it because I was scared I was going to damage it. So I left it alone like this and I'm, I'm fine and content with it being like this. So I just have to mist it a little bit more often um, than the other one but it's fine it's worth it oh i just love this one thank you all so much for all the amazing plants you've traded with me um it's really like a good learning curve for myself and i'm enjoying it a lot thank you so i'm having to reorganize my time and um i just want to share with y'all how this looks oh that's so precious I just love Hoyas. I think they're so pretty. So I've actually been growing my begonias in vermiculite in this Tupperware. I leaf propagate everything and then I just like leave it in here and um, have holes drilled in the the, the the lid so that way they it has ventilation and they just grow. I think it's so cool. This one's so finicky. Sometimes it wants to be white and then sometimes it wants to be green. There's like little elbow markings on there. Is that what they're called? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call them elbow markings. If y'all know what they're really called like let me know but they're all the markings right now for me um 
but yeah there's like little white parts on there these two leaves were really nice and this one's really nice but this last one what's going on buddy you're not working hard enough so we're just gonna chop it up until this one unfurls and hardens off we'll see all right so this one's definitely my challenge plant i'm doing right now this one doesn't have really much nodes this is the filled in princess um but it does have this kind of new growth to it so what i'm doing is kind of like um keep it in my grow tent and it's at 20 percent. but i think i might reduce the the lighting in there because it receives like it, it has like this little damage from it i think it was too bright in there so i'm gonna reduce it it was it was already at 20 percent, so i'll just reduce it more and i'll do like 15 percent maybe but <clears throat> it did have like it did push out this new growth so i think that keeping it in this sphagnum moss is working and i'll keep you all updated but i'm just really excited to even like try this this is i think this is kind of cool so all right everyone so this is my experiment of the week i'm trying a new kind of like substrate system for the hoyas so i'm trying this like method where it's more like kind of like barky and airy for them let's see how it goes i'm trying it out with one of my hoya macrophylla propagations so we'll see if that shows like faster growth i'm gonna have it in my grow tent so you'll be seeing updates all right here's my little shop so cute right <laughs> okay so i was just like thinking um of finally like getting to paint pots i've been wanting to do this for so long um I, I bought a sealant that they told me that is maybe comparable to what i was looking for so i'm gonna try that if not whatever it something to try then i'm gonna paint some pots i'm gonna grow some uh of the dragons that dragon fruit seeds out of on them and then um also uh plant some house plants in some of them this is like um what i'm going to be doing probably for like christmas so you all are going to get plants <laughs> these are from my take up plant leader plant but i need the container. I want to, um, they're plastic, so these I actually reuse for my sphagnum moss propagations. Um, instead of them going to trash, I use these for like sphagnum moss, and then also, uh, whenever there's like little containers, I grow my little seeds out. Too. Here's a little update on my dragon fruit. Look at that. And then um, I propagated my olive tree. If y'all saw my TikTok, um, I showed you how I did it. Um, and then I gave one of them to my neighbor. So I'm just. I don't know, I, just, I thought it would be fun, and they might just really enjoy it. Alright, moment of truth everyone. I'm gonna spray this down, see if it works. I'm not sure, but I'll just go for it, why not? Okay, so this is how it looks. I'm just gonna let that dry and then we'll go from there. Hi everyone, well today I got my new sub pod so I thought that was exciting and uh, I'm gonna share that with y'all. So here it is. 
This is a uh, worm compact compact <laughs> a worm com compost system and it's uh you have to like dig it inside the ground so i'm gonna do that eventually just kind of first gonna look around and see where i want to plant it because there's going to be like future plants of whatever of everything else so you gotta first make sure of that and then we'll get to planting it so excited to show you all the growth look at all my little plants And then um, I'm gonna paint some pots soon. Okay, so I just wanna say like, thank you so much for all the donations and all the kind, like, kindness that has been given to me and the plant shop, like, it's amazing. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. So, so excited to share all this amazing, like, process with you all. Like, this journey has been really cool and I'm just so glad you all are a part of it. Hi everyone, we're in my studio. It's um, Halloween and I'm going to do a little Monstera potting. Um, I'm going to do my Monstera Esqueleto, as you see here. I really love this plant. This is actually my wishlist plant. Many other people's wishlist plant. <laughs> and um, so I wanted to invest a little bit into it and getting it into our store and so um i have two and i'm going to pot it up i have my dishidia board that i removed the dishidia from and i have it in my little grow box over here so i'm going to take care of that but i'm going to place more sphagnum moss in here and then uh and then repot my Monstera Skeleto, as you see, they're ready to like repot into um, their container. And I really hope that they grow into, um, it's a, and I really hope that they like just adhere to the board because it would be really nice for them to do that. So let's get to doing that. So, first, I think I should just go ahead. Is this a, what is this? Is this a node? I'm just gonna stick you in there. I have so many. I don't know if y'all are like me, but I have so many mystery nodes. I'm just like, first, let's get this. I'm just lifting this like metal wiring on it up so I can place, so I can place the sphagnum moss in the, in the board. So what I did was I just laid moist sphagnum moss on top of it, and then um, I wrapped some jute pole around it. it. I wasn't going. I'm not going to hassle. Like I'm not going to hassle with the wiring and stuffing it in. I don't think it's going to really matter. The point of it being is that it needs to just attach to something. So next we're going to. I got a little hard at the at one point, and I was just like, I'm just gonna do this this is easier i have my little aeroid mixed over here so that's basically like what i'm going to be doing maybe higher so y'all, so like, it would be like this. Look at them roots, yo. So nice. So I maneuvered some soil around it so that way it's a little bit deeper inside. Um, 
and it has some space for the plank also and then also for the other one to be on there as well make sure i have enough height for it basically want it like that you just need to add both of them in there and then the board we'll do that oh man those roots really needed to go look at that <laughs> oh my Now we're just going to cover the top soil around it, making sure all of it is surrounded with some soil. I think the first time, oh, it is a little wonky. Let's get him in there. That looks a little bit better. All right, here is the final result. As you can see, it's uh, going to grow on there. there. These are the juvenile form of it. And so, I think this is cool. So excited to see this grow. Um, I am going to bottom water it because the board is in there. It's, it should be fine. So I am going to bottom water it. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that and just go from there. So the first time I saw. Um, the Monstera Escaletto, I believe, um, Kaylee Ellen was making a uh, rare plant index a long time ago, and that's like how long ago I've I've known about it, and I've like really just wanted to explore the plant. Um, I know a lot of people were like, it's really hard for even it to fend straight, no matter if you give it a board, and so I just kind of wanted to experience that on my own and see what I can do. Um, and also I wanted to add it to my collection and my, um, my store. So definitely this will be like one of my more nicer plants that I'm going to offer on my store. And I just, I'm just really excited. Like it's, it's growing out as a juvenile right now. You'll see all the different changes. And I think it's just great that you all are like experiencing the way that this like growth of my store is going just viewing it all like it's from from like day one till now like it's, it's just great and if you ever just want to support the, the 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 store at any any way there's like um a section in my blog where you can purchase from the shop and there's like monthly subscriptions on there and then also digital downloads for like you know like really easy affordable costs and uh I just really appreciate you all in every kind of way that you all supported me. Um, I hope you all are enjoying my vlogs. Um, this is just something that's like I'm very passionate about and I just really am so happy and just ecstatic on how everyone's response has been from all the amazing donations to like all the amazing people that are supporting the 
the the growth of the shop like it's 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 just amazing you know thank you so much y'all have an amazing day um wherever it is five to one peace